We were glued to the screen. My, we couldn't yep, wait to see what happened eyeballs. next. Oh, next it looks like we have Ruben coming up. An Australian top 10 player, I want to say. Arguably, although based on his results at the uh, summit, you the know, recent performance, it's a little in doubt. Yeah. Lost to um, McLeod, I believe, yeah. to place... That's always been a bit 16. of a demon for Ruben, the Peach matchup. Yeah, that's also a really bad matchup for Samus. Oh, and it's McLeod well. yet again. Oh, this is a rematch of the of the Summit set. And Ruben... Yeah. I gotta go play Brad. Okay, have fun. Hey, wish Brad and me luck. Good luck, Brad. Hello, Kaiser. What's up, Davin? Nothing much. So this is a rematch of the Summit set where McLeod oh, knocked true. out Ruben. This is huge, actually. First time loses, exactly. I don't know who Ruben was playing last time, but it looks like he's going Falcon this time. Cool, okay. Might go better. Ruben, a top 10 player, and so is McLeod, I would say. They're both, they've both shown that they are very, very high school players in all of Australia. That's sick, man. I love how, like, SA has gotten so top-heavy now. Yeah, we have an extremely powerful state. It's just because, like, none of us... Powerful. It's because, like, none of us stopped playing, you know? Yeah. Like, we all started playing, like, what? You know, almost six years ago now. And then we're all just like, all right, well, like, we're it's not going to give up on this. We're all going to, like, grind till, like, we get to where we want to be. And now we have, like some absolute killers. We also run very consistent tournaments. Evac is such True. a nice thing to have every week. True that, actually. This attracts, a, attracts the right type of gamer. Look, I'm just glad that I brought in my laptop that fateful day. And then mm -hmm. we all just started, like, talking shit on commentary. And then that what happened? Yeah, that, that was just what happened, right? It was just, like, uh, a street gig didn't happen one time, and then Ali's like, hey, we run this... Um, video game club out of Adelaide Uni, you should come along. And then she's like, oh, we need commentators for Avcon. And I bought a $40 capture card and started practicing with everyone at eBay. Wow. And I'm like, that's how it all started, literally. And now look at us. Now look at us. Having cheese leagues every month, weeklies every two weeks or so. Shout out to McLeod as well for picking up the mantle on that. Honestly, yeah, McLeod's been a great boon for the scene. He's also doing a lot of netplay tournaments as well. The uh, McDongle Bongles. He's hosted like four or five of them, and they one get day I will enter one of those. Um, but I'm always, I'm always like working on like all of these like netplay tournaments, which is really funny. Yeah, the netplay tournaments are usually like, at strange times. It's okay. We'll, we'll just deal with it. It's fine. It's like they're into the game now. Ruben with the combo gets my out in the. Oh, uh -oh. I get the reversal though. Uh -oh. Edgar situation and Falcon is dead there. Cannot come back. I think this matchup is um, slight Falcon favor, I would say. He has the speed to keep up with Peach in the combo game as well as just maneuver around her. Peach, though, has a very strong combo game on Falcon. Well, the biggest thing here is that Peach just gets to have like all these kind of crazy reversals on like stray hits that Falcon, like, Manages to pick up a neutral where usually, like, he can convert into something. Oh, for sure. In close range as well, Peach's aerials a lot of the time can just outright beat Falcon's aerials because Falcon's aerials are so slow or they have low priority. And that's what McLeod's really strong at the close range, air, uh, fast aerials because he uh, sub floats them. Oh, yeah, he's sick, right? Yeah, <laughs> I forget that he actually tech. has that technology. <laughs> Sometimes you just play him and then like you hit him on the ground and it's just like an instant reverse. I'm like, that's that's kind oh, yeah, of he, bullshit. He power shoots, down smashes all of your approaches. It's like, what do I do? It's kind of BS. What am I meant to do? Exactly. And nice stock by Ruben there. Gets the edge guard. Pretty clean. McLeod's also been practicing ledge dashes with Peach. If you haven't, if you didn't know that, there's apparently Why? some tech on the box where you can get nine glint with Peach ledge. What? Dash. Yeah. How does that even work? I don't know, but McLeod's been practicing it, and I. I'm really curious to see if he's going to bring it out the set. How does it? What? I'm I have no clue. It, it, apparently, it requires three frame perfect inputs at once or at a time. All right, McLeod. Something when you like watch that. this vod, tell us how it works in the YouTube comments below. Please. Do. <laughs> nice. Should That's be a clean stock, but oh, no, he, he flops. Back. Sneaks underneath. You know. 
I don't know if it's just me, but I've just been noticing McLeod's a little less confident on edge guards since switching to box. I would agree with you. I think a lot of players would say the same thing. How McLeod's a little bit slower, a little bit less confident in going for things on the box. But he's um he's been practicing since Summit and from what I can tell he's gotten a lot better. Wow. Moving a lot more confident. Getting the edge guards he used to get. Well that's good. Right now. Because I always find like he messes up the drift on the down airs especially, and it's like I don't know, it just doesn't seem to have that same level of like drift control as a yeah. controller, yeah. Can't it really just seems hard. You have to time things so like so close to each other and like get the drift timing really like correct. Mm -hmm. I spoke with McLeod recently though, mm -hmm. and I think he said that he feels as confident on the box as on the game controller in certain matchups. Yeah. So we'll see about that. Well, he's going 1-0 up, so it's not doing. He's like he's actually doing something right. Doing very well. The close game for Ruben though. Ruben gets his hand a bit. Probably going Pokemon Stadium if I had to guess. Yoshi Story, okay. That's also, I would say, a surprising counter pick for Captain Falcon. Most Falcons don't like the stage in other matchups. Maybe in this matchup it's good. Nah, big knees. Big knees big gonna knees. come out. It Huge doesn't knees. matter. Gets a power to down smash. That's the McLeod. Signature move. Who was making the. It was um, Smoz, Sam from New Zealand, who was making like. Um, it was like a TAS, like machine learning, uh, like Peach Bot, and it would just like power shoot down smash your approaches, and it was just like, everyone commented like, oh, it's working on AI and Marta, right? But really what everyone saw in the video, they were just like, it's McLeod. <laughs> it's it's McLeod. literally McLeod. Probably the only Peach at a high level that does it consistently, I'd say. I definitely have not watched any Peach that does power shoot down smashes to the same consistency. And not in this country. Definitely not in this country. Maybe not even in America. Yeah, they usually go for other stuff, I feel. Like, they, they worked out CC down smash and ASDI down smash, and they're like, that's it, we're... We don't need anything else. <laughs> that's good enough for me. Oh, that was such a nice float height to get the Nair into instant down smash there. Covers himself. By the way, gang, let us know if the audio is alright. If I need to turn the game uh, or the microphones up or down, please let me know and I'll do so. Oh, starting with the chain grab, gets the platform tech chase. Oh, sick pressure. Continues the pressure, yeah. Gets us into a full punish now. Ruben comes down with a stomp knee, and there it is. The Captain Falcon Classic. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> down there, forward air. So high! Oh, I was expecting just to like have Ruben just do a raw knee there. That would have been a very, uh, very brave maneuver to come off Randall with a knee. Probably would have worked as well. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if Falcon gets a follow up there. It didn't look like he could with that DI. But there must be something. Knee. Oh, yep. very and nice. And it's back to even straight away. Very nice. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Ruben. These sets today have been very close so far. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ruben stuck on the platform. Comes down. <laughs> wow, the, the sub That's float Nair. Catching out Ruben from doing it down air. <laughs> oh, or finds the gentleman He's dead. Knee. He's wow. literally dead. Hold on. 1-1. Uh, one, one. That was a big one, actually. For Ruben to actually convert those into knees, it's so important, and it's like... You don't want to be dropping those, I feel. It's, a, it's also a read as well, because um, McLeod did have the chance to tech, but you don't really expect to tech off of a gentleman most of the time. So it's, it's good of Ruben to recognize that, go for the for the knee on the mistech. Oh, and just, oh, just stomps in midair. It doesn't even hit on the ground. It doesn't <laughs> even hit. Maybe Ruben had some Samus muscle memory there and was like, this is it, this is how I hit him. <laughs> just down smash, yep. So Ruben far, he's just playing a lot, lot more on the platforms this game so far. Today. Now he's on the ground, but before, just stomped on a platform. I Finds think the Nair to me. That's a good pickup. I think he might want to be on the platforms on this stage because if if you let Peach to the platforms, it's kind of hard to like. Looks like look how he's playing right now. He's just playing safe on top platform, and he's back there again. Yes, this game is really smart. I'm I'm really liking this gameplay from Ruben. Nice. Nice. Oh, I, I can't believe that. Oh, now. wow. I yeah. can't believe that hit. It hits people way more often than it should, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> just the, 
praying, praying to God that the Raptor boost hits. And it often oh. does. Unfortunate. Back to the platform, just falling down with platforms with uh with aerials off of them. I wanna know how McLeod is gonna start dealing with oh this. Oh my god. Right now, whatever he's doing is not working. That knee was nuts. That knee was insane. Oh beam sword though. Oh, pressure. Right. Rolls out of it. Back to a platform. Maybe oh, not damn. a great counter pick. I, I think this is still the pick, it's just that Ruben was like prepared. He understood like this is what I have to do. J Nuts with the raid of ten, thanks for stopping by everyone. Welcome to South Australia. Hello J Nuts, twenty-four. Thanks for supporting some local melee. And Ruben kind of running away with this game, honestly. Mikhail can't really seem <laughs> to get in and just goes for the raw knee. That is confidence. Oh no! I'd be pretty I'm not gonna be say like McLeod's tilted at the moment, but he's definitely like, ah, oh, crud. I think he's really <laughs> thinking about what to do, honestly. Yeah, he's How do I get on, get in on this Falcon? You can see the, the cogs turning. Exactly. Okay, cleans that stock up. Ruben has three more to work with. Gets another oh. stomp. Oh, stomps have been the name of this Let's game. do it again. Wow. Snipple, come on. <laughs> oh, he fucked up the double jump. If he timed it a little bit better, it would have worked. Finish down it with a nipple, please. Oh. No, it doesn't matter. And do just a simple down throw up there. Alright, Ruben with a clean game too. That was nice. The game plan and he really stuck to it. That was so nice. That was so so nice. It's really it's enjoyable to watch it's enjoyable to watch close games, but it's also enjoyable to watch games with a clear game with a clear game plan work out like that. And well, for me going to FD doesn't want to deal with the platforms and gets the chain grab on this stage. Yeah, for me it's like when I see players like acting that way when it's tournament sent, it feels a bit more like what I expect like people to play like in tournament. Because sometimes you get people who are just only interested in running at the other person, and it's like, you know it's tournament, and there's eight minutes on the clock, and like, yeah. there's like stakes on the line and stuff, so it's like, don't be afraid to use all like the options that the game gives you, instead of just sure being not. like, no, I want to like play the most amount of melee in the shortest time possible. Especially of being if the option is working, like yeah, some yeah. kind of platform. If it works, then just keep doing it. Careful. McLeod already looking a bit more in control of this game. <laughs> Let's see if he can finish this edge guard. Goes low wow. and Ruben actually makes it back. Yeah, that nair not reaching low enough to hit Falcon on recovery. McLeod shaking his head a little bit there. I wonder what he's thinking. I mean, McLeod's well, also like, dropping that. at least not dying immediately. Because, like, a stray hit here from uh, Ruben, like a Nair, could just lead into a combo off stage and then that's oh, it. for sure, yeah. Any back air, gentleman, Nair, anything. Who's your boy in this game, actually? I'm going for Ruben in this game. Oh, oh okay. But, I cheer for both players. They're right, both who's, your, who's your boy this tournament? This tournament? Mm. I'd say myself. Oh, I like that. I'm going to cheer for someone else. Yeah, good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I needed to know. But, um, close second, probably, uh, Muscat. I'm a huge Muscat fan. And Muscat well. for second. Muscat Ooh. is a very strong player. I want people to know oh, how strong sick. Muscat is. He's really he good at the game. Exactly. He didn't make it to the, the latest summit, but he's probably also top 10 in Australia, I would say. We have a lot of them. Top 10s. <laughs> Top 10 is filled with seven SA players. Right. <laughs> uh, that's a bit of a stretch, but... You it's feel not me. too far of a stretch. It's not too far off. Right, McLeod looking in control in this game so far. Ruben can't finish the stock off. He needs to find some sort of... Oh, there we nice. go. Oh, what's up, Sam? Good to see you in chat, man. It's a grab. Ooh, oh, for the re need there. Oh, he's dead. Oh no, he knew. What? He actually knew, but also like, Ruben could have just like upbeat. Not too much. We were just commenting on um, how back in the day you were working on AI Marta, and then everyone who watched the video of it, like Power Shoot down smashing, was just like, ah, oh, that's just McLeod actually. You're, McL you're making a McLeod bot. I don't know what the Falcon um, follow up of the down throw there is. Ruben went for a knee there and got nared in the face for it off of the down throw, so I wonder if there's something Oh, nice. Nice. We got a match, though. Yes. This is a Stock of Champions happening <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is literally Stock of Champions. 
So McLeod is actually finding his way like barely out of these combos that seem oh, really good. Oh, nice. That is clean. Damn, that was a combo. Let's and fucking go. Finish that, finishes that game off 2-2. Two, two. All right. Yes. But I, I'm <laughs> really, I really want to see Ruben stick to his game plan from FOD and how McLeod's going to deal with it. But he picks Pokemon Stadium, actually. Oh. This, is a, this is probably the standard counter pick. But when you have if a game plan that's working, yeah. Yeah. When you have a game plan that worked as much as it did on FOD, then um, it's kind of interesting to pick this stage. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Huge damage. I like the turn up there, but Ruben's really smart. Didn't get hit. Gets a nice fast forward to ledge as well, stopping McLeod from getting the. I agree with the what Skip guard. said in chat that top 10 in Oz is actually 20 people. Because they're all yeah. just from different regions, and it's so hard to judge like who actually fits the bill. A lot of players can beat a lot of other players. It's very um. Yeah. Trading like high to mid level is very uh, fluid, I would say. Yeah, because at the moment it's like. It's just one of those things, and I think it's just because like SA has quite a lot of them as well. Like we can all kind of beat each other on any given yeah. day, right? Like it's one of those like variable skill. And McLeod like, just not recovering there. Box and happened. whisker graphs or whatever. Oh, for sure. Um, so it's like everyone can kind of beat everyone, but we haven't really seen who's like got the medal to be like the most consistent at the top of the food chain of that. Yeah. And I mean, Nick is probably the obvious pick though. And oh, it's Nick, probably like I would, the most consistent. I would put Nick at a tier above all those high to mid tier players. It's yeah. Like Nick, Sock. Uh, yeah, Nick and Sock, I guess. Yeah, so so it's Josh, Nick, Sock, like without question, right? And Sock and Nick are like arguably equal in skill. Um, yeah, and then it, after that, everyone else is. Pick it all. Yeah, I, each I mean, other. I think there's people who actually don't fit in top 10 as well, though. Like. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not like firing shots or anything here, but like. <laughs> Goody and Melo just aren't of the top 10 caliber just yet. No, but they are getting there, though. They are quite good. Huey's quite good as well. I think Huey's definitely top 20 at this point. Huey had a very nice run at um at Summit last weekend, or a couple weekends ago. Hue no, I was watching Huey all day. I'm like, he's kind of on fire at, at the moment. He's matchup, which is so surprising. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Foxes struggle at that matchup a lot of the time. Going to game five against Melodic. Beating Dekar is no joke. Mm, yeah, exactly. He had a good run. Very good run. And I'm also glad that Dekar got to play after um, losing to me on phone internet at the Hyrie at would the watch last chance. Yeah, Hyrie would be also in that uh, Nick soft <laughs> tier as well. You guys talk all this shit about Hyrie. I bet you wouldn't even say that to him in real life. I definitely would not. He's jacked. He's jacked. He goes to all the he goes to all the hardest places. <laughs> has all the hardest guys around him. He's all the <laughs> hottest K-pop concerts around. True. It's all there. This is kind of looking rough for McLeod now, though. All because, like, yep. Ruben actually got to have a counter pick in game five after, like, turning the tide yeah. in FOD. The just looking so just hard. Seems to be the deal breaker in the set. Mm. Nice. Ruben also playing. Oh, a lot of those spot dodges there. I think we're tempted to have down smashes. Not too sure what else they could have been. McLeod's defense has actually picked up, like, a notch in this last stock though. He understands that it actually is not beneficial for him to take any extra damage that he doesn't need to. Oh. Oh my god. No he tech has chance to equalize this, this game oh, actually. careful. So some small trades here and there from McLeod, but it's actually working for him very well. Oh, it gets well. off the ledge. Oh, oh nice. It gets an accidental roll in and McLeod cleans it up. This is very, very even. Falcon can get comboed quite easily. All right, Ruben has to not get too greedy here and try and catch out, like, I don't know, on something that yep. isn't true. You can just find some stray nair or a gentle. Oh my oh, god, that's it. Find stop me, that's... That is it. That is the game. Oh my god, that was sick. And Ruben with the win over McLeod. That was a good way to end it too, because I thought McLeod was going to bring it back. That was... Huge. That's, good job. That's gigantic. Congratulations to Ruben. Good shit, Ruben.